In this talk, I will show you how to use an infinite state hidden Markov model to help model the state of the market. When it comes to the stock market, you'll hear it commonly being in a bull or bear state. If it's in a bull market, this means that it is moving up on average. And if it is in a bear market, this means that it is moving downwards on average. You'll commonly see statues of bulls and bears around stock exchanges around the world. But how does this help us model the stock market? In Markov state models, each observation depends on what state the world is in. So in this case, a bull market would be a state where the average is greater than zero because it is going up and increasing every day. And a bear market would be the opposite. It would be a state where the average is less than zero because it is decreasing every day. You need to pick how many states there are before fitting the model. So in that case, if you want to add more states, this can be a bit of a problem. For example, you might want to include things such as a sideways state where the average is equal to zero or maybe a strong bull or a strong bear state where the average values are a lot larger. And also, what if the states are different? In a Markov state model, you're assuming that each state is the same, but actually each bull market might have a different average over time. So instead, we can use an infinite state Markov model, and this lets the data decide how many states are appropriate. And each state has its own parameters, and it is a Dirichi process type of model. So this means we can use my Dirichi process package to fit these types of models very simply. And in just three lines of code, you can start fitting these types of model on your own data. Now in terms of data for this application, we have the daily returns of the SPY ETF, which represents the top 500 US companies and is a good representation of the stock market. You can download this data from alphavantage.co for free. And while after downloaded, we normalize this data by the daily 30-day uh, rolling volatility. We then fit the infinite state hidden Markov model using my Dirichlet process package. Now this fits this type of model by doing two things. Every day we check whether that day belongs to the previous state or whether it should create its own new state. We go through each data point in sequence asking this question and seeing if it belongs to the previous state or it should create its own state. Once all the states have been assigned, we then update the underlying parameters of each state using all the data that belongs to that state. And then we repeat this process until it has converged. Now in terms of results, I've plotted here the SPY price again over time and colored the data points based on whether they are in a bull or bear market. The bull markets are indicated by the black dots and the bear markets are indicated by the yellow dots. And we can see that there has been three bear markets over the last 20 years. The first being in the early 2000s after the dot-com crash. And then the next bear market was in 2007 over the great financial crisis. And then finally, the third bear market was in early 2020 with the COVID crisis. When we look at the average parameters over these different states, we can see that the bear markets have got uh, values that are less than zero as they correspond to bear markets and the bull markets have values greater than zero and the current bull market that we are in has got a slightly higher average than previously seen before. Now as this is a Bayesian model we get the uncertainty for free so we can plot the 95% credible interval around the average values as well. So what have we learned from this type of model? Well, we no longer have to set the number of states beforehand and the data has decided how many states are appropriate. We've also got the average length of each market state to help us understand on average how each state lasts long lasts for. And we have also observed how the parameters have changed with each state and can see that our current bull market that we are in, the average parameter seems to be larger than the previous bull markets. If you'd like to learn more, you can read my original blog post on my website. Or you can download my Dirichi process package from CRAN or go to the GitHub. And then finally, I suggest that you check out Alpha Vantage for their free market data and see what other things they also provide. Thank you for listening to my talk.